Generating traffic and sales can be a challenge for online merchants. But selling on the Walmart marketplace puts your products in front of millions of customers who shop on walmart.com. And right now, sellers who join Walmart Marketplace can save up to 50% on referral and fulfillment fees for the first 90 days. So get started today. Head over to marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. That's marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. Today's podcast is sponsored by SLI Systems, providers of intelligent site search and navigation solutions. Learn more at sli-systems.com and listen to their interviews at ecommercepodcast.com. Welcome to E-Commerce Conversations, a weekly podcast focusing on e-commerce topics featuring interviews with prominent people in the e-commerce space. Well, welcome to another edition of E-Commerce Conversations by Practical E-Commerce. My name is Carrie Murdoch. Our topic today is alternative pay-per-click advertising opportunities. And by alternative, we mean pay-per-click advertising opportunities on sites other than the four major search engines, uh, the four major search engines being Google, MSN, Yahoo Search Marketing, and Ask.com. Jason Prescott is with us today to sort this out. Jason is CEO of Top10Wholesale.com. He also publishes other related business-to-business -business vertical search engine sites. All of Jason's sites offer pay-per-click advertising opportunities. And Jason, I want to thank you for your time today, sir. Thank you for having me, Gary. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Sure, Jason, you you've suggested, uh, I believe we've had conversation or we've had we've had communication before. You've suggested that for our listeners, anyway, our listeners are e-commerce merchants. That there are opportunities in the pay-per-click advertising field uh, other than uh, the four major search engines. Could you explain that to us? You know, Kerry, um, over the years, um, many publishers have adapted uh, vertical search media and using vertical search to go off what I like to call the reservation, um, the reservation being your traditional tier one search engines, uh, which we're kind of questioning here. There has been a rapid rise um, of verticals in the last couple of years alone. Um, you have sites like business.com. You have top10wholesale.com manufacturer.com, and many others uh, that are entering into um, many very big industries, uh, finance, uh, online gaming, um, online sourcing, and most of these verticals offer client-side campaign management technology. Um, their campaign management technology is very proprietary, and if you can use AdWords, you can use any one of these back ends. And you're going to find that the user coming to these verticals is a much more qualified and much more relevant user than that of which is going to the traditional reservation. I think anybody not using verticals um, should certainly uh, consider adapting immediately. Um, but yes, absolutely, there are plenty of places to go um, that are off the reservation. Verticals. Give me some examples of popular verticals. You have some, I know, but are those arranged around, I assume, around industries? Is that is that right? Industries or topics? Or? Absolutely. Um, some very, you know, some great verticals that I like myself um, that most people have heard of, but, you know, surprisingly, many have not. Many have not. Business.com. Mm -hmm. Business.com is a wonderful vertical when searching for um, any topic that is business-related. Um, anything from, from accounting to some type of sourcing to some type of new payroll um, thing that you want to in implement for your organization, you can find on business.com. Um, Alibaba.com, wonderful global sourcing site. Um, you have IT.com, which is an incredible site um, for finding anything IT and IT related. Um, you have other sites out there um, right now, such as chemistry.com. Um, that are great for that vertical. So there are plenty that exist. And if you were to go to Google um, or Yahoo and do a search for vertical search engines, 
you're likely to find in the first or second page a wonderful list of probably the top 100 verticals that exist right now. Jason, the verticals, the companies that are listed in the verticals, are those companies that have only registered with those verticals? Is a vertical going to identify a company that hasn't registered with it? That's a great question, Terry, and I'm, I'm very happy you, you picked on to that. Um, verticals are very capitalistic um, in nature. Um, a lot of verticals may have some backfill they put in there, but most of the companies that you're going to find in a vertical um, are put in there by a human being or put in there because they're actively advertising on that vertical. Um, you're not going to find some type of random arbitrary algorithm that's going to attempt to identify what it thinks is or isn't relevant. Um, what you're going to find is a vertical partnering with every trade magazine, every trade show, and every single outlet in that industry to make sure that that user is getting the most refined and most relevant search results. You're going to find news centers. You're going to find blogs. You're going to find forums, and you're going to find a plethora of other interesting user-created content areas on a vertical, which is going to be relevant on that one topic only. That's interesting. Your company, Top10Wholesale.com, I believe is your principal site, but I, knew, I know you also publish other business-to-business -business verticals. Tell us a little bit about Top10 Wholesale, would you? Well, Top 10 Wholesale is a business-to-business -business specific search engine where wholesalers connect with manufacturers and retailers connect with wholesalers. Uh, we attempt to connect buyers and sellers in global and domestic sourcing. Uh, we have close to 2,000 wholesalers and manufacturers that actively advertise with us on any given day and over 20,000 visitors across our network um, attempting to source merchandise to resell um, in their storefront to people like you and I. Okay. Tell us about the verticals that exist. You touched on this a minute ago with your example of doing a search on Google for verticals. Uh, so if a merchant listening to this is a business-to-consumer merchant, they're a retailer, how, how does a vertical fit in to their plans? Tell us an example. Say I sell cooking supplies to consumers. How will vertical help me? I tell you, Kerry, if you know, I will get into one specific topic that every single e-commerce merchant or retailer should be doing right this second. You should be submitting your feed to the vertical shopping sites out there: Shopzilla, Frugal, Price Grabber, Wholezilla. Okay, these are one mm -hmm. of the opportunities in vertical search where you can go off the reservation and make your product offering much more relevant to a certain buyer trying to find your product but doesn't want to weed out millions upon millions of search results and content to find what they're looking for. Um, so you asked me about other verticals. I think if I were a retailer, those would be three or four of the uh, more popular verticals I would certainly keep my eyes on. And those three or four were, say those one more time. Price grabber. Shopzilla, Frugal, mm -hmm. and Wholezilla.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What's the uh, what's the ROI? Talk to us about the cost and the ROI. The cost to uh, say I I'm a I'm a merchant and I I do a Google AdWords campaign or I do a a, a campaign on these vertical searches. What's the difference in cost and what's the ROI? There was a very good study that was done, I believe, in Website Magazine um, that spoke about the return on investment um, that a marketer will typically see on a vertical um, rather than advertising on one of your broader search engines. Um, mm. I can tell you from experience and from our clients alone, such as bids.com, um, who have told us beyond any doubt that their return is far greater. No, a vertical will never bring you the millions and millions of eyeballs that Google could. But what we can bring to you is a user audience that's going to convert and bring you a higher return. Um, I have looked at a couple of case studies um, from a few of our clients, like DollarDays.com, uh, and I can tell you that the return on investment can typically be 20 to 30% higher than that of Google's. Um, but there really hasn't been enough um, good data uh, given to a few of the major outlets such as Jupiter Research and Forrester 
to really put that data together. Um, so if you can find a great example of more marketers, Terry, um, and identify that question, um, I'd love to see it myself. <laughs> okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough, Jason. Uh, Jason, of course, our, as I said earlier, our listeners are e-commerce merchants, mainly smaller e-commerce merchants, not all, but mainly smaller. Anything else you'd like to say to them about vertical search? or? There's a ton I'd like to say, uh, but to sum it up um, in a couple of statements, I, I think one of the biggest opportunities in e-commerce right now for any e-tailer is international and global sourcing that is available in front of you, and so many of you know it's there and you're not using it. Um, right now, with the decline in trade shows and, and trade publications out there, a lot of the newer generation out there, they're going to the Internet to source products and look for things to resell. And if you have a computer and an Internet connection and you're listening to this podcast, I highly recommend you Google the keyword sourcing, product sourcing, sourcing search engine, vertical search engine, or retail search engine, and I can tell you you're going to find some opportunities for your store and your merchandising, which is going to make your your uh, uh, your sales a bit more profitable. Okay. That's a good tip. Thank you. Well, Jason Prescott, CEO of Top10Wholesale.com and an expert on vertical search engines, we want to thank you for your time today, sir. Thank you for having me, Kerry. That's all the time we have for this week's e-commerce conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. Please tune in next week for another new episode.